Now tell me honestly what you prefer, okay? These are great cabinets, knotty alder, and they've got um, really nice slow close lids, but the problem is the lids are not supported. What do you think about this one? Supported. And we retain the slow close feature. I'm going to install four of these gas struts. They come in pairs. But honestly, these doors are not that heavy and one strut is more than adequate for this door. I've got three more to go, but I thought it'd be a fun little project for you guys to take a look at. But I think much nicer and I think Beth is going to love this. Now, as I said, I ordered four of them, but they come in pairs. So I basically ordered two pairs. If you look at gas struts, they come in different um, weights. This one is a hundred Newton gas strut and when it's sitting in the cabinet with the door closed that strut is compressed and then it expands and holds your door open. It swivels on two little balls. One is on a little offset 90 degree and the other is a small stud and they basically just clip in and to remove them you just slip a screwdriver under the spring and uh, remove the spring and you can remove the strut from the ball support. I knew that mine was going to be a little bit different in terms of where I could line these up. And when I looked at the package online, they come with a round stud that I could mount here, but I didn't want to have it sticking out and only be able to use two screws. So I purchased some secondary offset mounts and it worked out perfect. Of course, I'll put links down below for the struts and the um, aftermarket uh, supports. I also am not using the screws that came with the uh, struts. I think that the ones that came with the struts are a little bit on the small side and the screw that came with the aftermarket ball support is a good size screw, but I think it's a little beefy. I think these are number 10s and I want to say I want to say that one is probably a number 6. I went to the hardware store and got some Phillips panhead sheet metal screws. They're number 8 by a half. So I'll use all the same screw. That's going to make my drilling and installation much easier. I actually know the guy who built these. <laughs> this is solid wood. You want to be really super careful if you're installing into uh, particle board or wood fiber board, but I'm, I'm lucky here. I've got a solid wood face frame. My first one was a bit of a pain in the neck, and that is because I had no way of holding this cabinet up. So I started off with masking tape, held for a while, but then it came free and popped down. Then I came up with this idea, roll of paper towels and stick them in the cabinet and that holds it up. But I think what I'm going to do to make these last three go easy is just a little, probably one foot strip of Gorilla Tape. And that'll keep me up out of the way and I'll be able to get these installed really quick. These cabinets are the same. Now that I know where this mounts and where this mounts, um, I can do this pretty quickly. I'm basically going to line these two up and they'll be uh, perfect. The distance though when you're doing this is nine and a half inches down from where you uh, mount your uh, lid support is the center of where you mount your rail support. Now if you read the instructions the mark for the lid support is at two and three quarter inches and I'll be able to kind of eyeball straight across as well. Yeah, just like I thought, that's about half an inch down. So we'll just be able to duplicate that and then they're going to be the same. I like to make the mark and then come back and center punch because trying to center punch when I can't get up there and see really well, I'm not going to get a good uh, mark. Now all we do is line our all up on the center of that hole. 
So these are the screws that I'm using. Sheet metal screws, pan head, Phillips, number eight by one half inch. So I'll use a screwdriver just to start this. Okay, we got our lower support and all you do is just clip the uh, gas shock on and you're good. The key thing is the uh, two and three quarter inch line that I drew up here lines up with the center of this shaft and ball. And the nice thing about this is there is a little bit of adjustment. So I'll get it fairly close and then I can adjust it and I'll put a mark. And again, I've sized these screws and I've checked they're not going to go through. I found on these it's good just to hold it off to the side go ahead and get it started. Then it's just a simple matter of releasing your cabinet lid from your whatever you're using for support and then just pop it on. <laughs> Beth is going to love that. So nice now to get in there and have that lid self-supporting. Love it. Check that out. Love it. And the nice thing is we did not lose that soft close feature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.